Hey guys, today for dinner tonight, we're gonna do homemade Chick-fil-A chicken biscuits and frozen, frozen hash browns. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. My recipe usually calls for the Sister Schubert's rolls that you just throw in the oven, but my store did not have them. So I ended up buying the Rhodes ones and they're like really small. So I left them out for three hours and they finally have fluffed up, but they're 100% frozen and you have to take them out and leave them fall. It came with 36, but I only could fit 12, so we're doing 12. So, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 450. If you can get the Sister Schubert's just plain rolls that are in the toss away pan, that's gonna be your better option because that's gonna be more like Chick fil A, but we don't have that. So, we're going with the flow and doing what we got. So, we're gonna do with that, and now we're gonna start the dry ingredients. So, I was on the wrong recipe. Um, do not put your oven on 450, put it on 300 and put the rolls in there for 15 minutes. And there are no dry ingredients. I don't know what I was looking at. But you're gonna wanna get these chicken nuggets, these exact ones, cause these are like the knockoff version of Chick-fil-A. And they're the Members Mark Southern Style Chicken Bites from Sam's. So I'm gonna place these in a baking pan, put some in there. I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna turn them over and cook them again for a few minutes so they brown on both sides. I mean, you could put them in the air fryer, but I think to be Chick-fil-A, you're gonna want them in the oven. So let's place these chicken bites in this pan. So that's kind of like the size of them. They're all just different. I think I have a small one right here. I think is going to be enough for us since we're doing hash browns with it. So I'm going to throw these in the oven for about 15 minutes. So now we're going to take four tablespoons of butter. I have two right here. And you're going to put it in the microwave. Put it in a bowl. It's in a glass bowl, but I'm just going to use what I have, which is a plastic bowl. It works fine. You're going to put it in there. Microwave for 20 to 30 seconds to melt it. Now we're gonna take two tablespoons of honey. I'm just using the great value from Walmart. And you're gonna put two tablespoons in the butter mixture and mix it up to make your like sweet sauce to go on your chicken and biscuits. If I can get this off, hold on. It's very, very sticky. So do two of these tablespoons. So four tablespoons of butter melted and then two tablespoons of honey. If I can get this in here. I don't do a lot with honey because I don't care for honey, but hoping this will be really, really good. Just putting this in here if I can get it all in there. And now you're just gonna mix all that together. So the recipe says to turn your rolls over once done. I've already done 
and cut them in half. So the chicken nuggets are done. My hash browns are in the air fryer. So I'm gonna put a piece of chicken in each of these rolls. Take your mixture and place it on each roll on the top. I've already flipped them back over. I'm coming, buddy. 